Hi everyone, welcome back to Decoding Studio. Today we are going to talk about phone authentication using Firebase in React Native mobile application. So before moving to the implementation part, let's see what is phone authentication. Previously, most of the apps trying to use username, email and password to authenticate user. But nowadays, most of the app trying to use phone authentication instead of email and password. So we'll take an example of WhatsApp. So if you want to register yourself in WhatsApp, then you have to enter uh, your mobile number, then you will get an OTP and you have to provide that OTP to the WhatsApp and WhatsApp will allow you to the register inside their app. So this is a phone authentication. So in this video, you, you are going to see how we can do the same thing using Firebase in React native mobile application Android and iOS. Though there are other service provider as well, for example, uh, Twilio and uh, some others, but uh, Firebase provides some free, you know, tier. So we are going to use uh, Firebase in this. So before moving forward, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button now and let's get started. So now we are going to use uh, Smurf Drill app from my previous videos and uh, I have made some changes in order to implement a phone authentication flow here. So first of all, you just need to enter your mobile number. And when you will press this get OTP, then Firebase will send an OTP to your provided phone number. So once you will receive uh, OTP, then you have to enter that OTP here. For example, one, two, three, four. And when you will hit this submit button, then Firebase will verify this OTP with sent OTP. And if it will match, then it will allow you to register into the app. So this is the basic flow of phone authentication that we are going to use here. In order to use Firebase inside your React Native application, uh, Firebase provided uh, some packages. So now we are going to see how we can install those packages inside our code. So let's see. Let's open uh, Firebase documentation uh, for React Native app are in Firebase.io. So first of all, we just need to uh, check the pre request. So basically you, uh, your system should have a uh, React Native already installed and create new Firebase project. So let's, let's create a Firebase project on uh, Firebase console first. Okay. So let's uh, create one uh, new app named as uh, some of drill and uh, just type continue and then continue select an account default account then create project and it will create our object project after creating firebase project now we'll see how we can do the installation so basically uh, first of all we just need to install react native firebase app so this is a root project of Firebase. So if you want to use any service of Firebase, you have to first install this Firebase app. And uh, so for that, just copy this here and go to terminal and type inside your root app. And it, it will install the uh, this React Native Firebase app package. Okay, so now you can see our Firebase uh, app is created. And now we'll see this here, Firebase console uh, here. So your app is uh, created successfully. So as you can see, our Firebase app root project is also, package is also installed here. Now we'll see how we can do the Android setup. So there will be a, one a Google services.json file that we have to uh, download from Firebase console from here and uh, then we need to include that file inside our uh, application code. So how we can do that, how we can create that file, let's see. So first of all, uh, you just need to open your Android, Android folder, then app, and then open SRC, then android.manifest file. So here you will see your package name. In case of uh, here, we have a comb.smurf drill. So just copy this package name. So basically you have already created a smurf drill project in the in this project you need to create android app so here for that to register the app you just need to enter your uh, package name or nickname or you can say smurf on drill 
it's optional and it's up to you if you want to uh, add this name or not and then we need to provide a uh, signing certificate sha1 so basically this is also optional so if you want to test your phone authentication then you need to add this sha for debug mode so dynamic links invites and phone authentication so these services required sha certificate so if you want to create that sha certificate then you need to copy this and you need to type this here in inside your terminal and it will create but i haven't installed uh, android sdk so it will not uh, work here but you in case of you uh, you want to uh, get sha1 then you can get it from here so once you are done with the sha sha1 then uh, you just need to register app and you can download your google services.json file from here once you download google services.json file then you need to add that inside android and app folder so basically you have to put your google services.json file here so let's see so your google services services.json file here so as you can see this is a google services.json file okay some of drill and it will contain your package name as well you have to add the google services plugin as a dependency inside your android build.gradle so this is a this build.gradle called as a project level build gradle file as well so you just need to copy this uh, here build.gradle file now search for dependency and you just need to enter your file uh, this uh, google services here so copy this line and go to the app build.gradle apply plugin so you just need to add this line here so our android setup is done now <clears throat> now after successful setup of android now we will see how we can set up ios one so for that uh, like same like android now we need to uh, download google service info.plist file from uh, firebase console uh, so now we need to create one more app uh, ios inside smurf drill project and here we just need a bundle id so let's find out from where we can get that bundle id so first of all uh, in your source code open ios then open this smurf drill.xc workspace make sure you are opening this one okay so here if you tap on this smurf drill uh, name project name and here you will get your uh, bundle id so just copy this bundle id and uh, paste it here and then uh, nickname if you want smurf drill it's optional and app store id it's uh, again optional just register app and download this google services info plist file you need to add uh, your google services plist file here so how you can do that let's see okay select smurf drill and right click on this and then add files to smurf drill then uh, go to the download folders and here you will find your smurf uh, google services info.plist file and don't forget to uh, add destination copy items if needed and then add this okay so your file is added here and now you just need to do something like you just need to add some code so open your app delegate.m file so you can do it here in xcode and in uh, vs code as well so let's add it in xcode so first of all you just need to copy on the top of the file uh, import the firebase sdk so here we just need to import firebase sdk and then uh, you need to find did finish launch with option folder and inside that you just need to add this line of code so you can see here did finish launch option so here you just need to add this code so let's add it here just like this so once you have added these lines now you just need to run your uh, code so you need to install pod install again for android you just need to do a react native run android for ios you just need to do cd ios and pod install and then uh, report update so let's copy this as we are using ios one so let's copy and open your vs code in here inside the terminal you just need to enter cd ios and then this line of code you need to install your ports 
As you can see, ports are successfully installed. It means our FireOS module is successfully linked with our application. So our iOS setup is also done. After successful setup, we'll check it's working or not. So let's open and uh, terminal and run uh, React Native run iOS. Okay, so app runs successfully. So it means our FabS is linked with our uh, React Native project. So let's uh, move to next step now and open your uh, FabS documentation. So as you know, like we have already installed this one and now we need to install this FabS auth using uh, uh, yarn or you can use uh, NPM. So I'm going to use NPM. Now, after successful installation of FireBase auth package, now you have to do CD iOS and uh, install your pod, pod install. So everything is done now. Now let's move to the FireBase uh, auth section, phone auth section. And here you just need to uh, ensure that phone sign-in provider is enabled. So go to your uh, Smurf drill uh, project and then select authentication. So here you can see sign-in methods. Uh, there are a bunch of uh, signing method available that that provided by uh, Firebase. So we are going to use phone. So I'm going to enable this here and that save it. And uh, okay, so phone is enabled now. So after that, uh, as we are going to test this app on uh, simulator, so we need to do some extra setup in order to uh, use uh, our phone authentication inside uh, our simulator. So basically, we just need to add, we need to add a reCAPTCHA verification. So let's see uh, how we can do that. So first of all, we just need to uh, open our Xcode and uh, just tap on our project name, then info. And here you can see URL types. So here we need to add, here we need to add a reverse client ID. So from where we can get this reverse client ID, let's see. Just open our uh, Xcode and here you, from Google services info.plist file, you will uh, see here reverse client ID. Just copy this client, client ID and uh, go to that uh, info and URL type and paste your reverse client ID here. So that's that. And uh, you can also add a testing here. So basically, you just need to go to the Smurf, uh, uh, Smurf drill Firebase app. And uh, here in phone number, you will see you can add a phone number for testing purposes. So you don't need OTP. So you can add a sample OTP or verification um, uh, OTP here. So I'm going to add my phone number. And my test verification code will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to add this. Now um, my phone number is added and I can use this OTP to uh, register myself. So let's move to here. Now we will see how we can implement uh, the code of uh, uh, phone authentication using Firebase. So first of all, uh, so when, so here we have a phone screen and I have just passed phone number to OTP screen and navigate to that OTP screen here. And on OTP screen, now here uh, on component read mount, I'm going to send OTP using Firebase. So for that, I just need to import Firebase auth first. So let's import Firebase auth. And for that, I just need to use Firebase auth. And uh, here I'm going to import auth. And I'm going to use this auth to send a ver OTP or you can say verification code. So let's wrap up it to try catch blog then. So whenever we will encounter any issue, then it will alert here. And now I'm going to use uh, auth to send OTP. Sign in with phone number. So you can see there were uh, other as other method as well, but we are going to use phone authentication. So as I'm fetching that phone number from the parameters, from phone screen, so I'm going to use phone number here. So that's it, I'm going to get confirmation here. So I've just saved this uh, here and I'm going to alert this confirmation now.
let's test it now. So I'm just going to send my number a to one double nine one five seven eight nine, and then get OTP. So it's going to recapture verification. And Okay, so recapture verification is done and we are getting this confirmation object from the Fabis. So it means uh, OTP is sent successfully to that phone number. So now we are going to uh, save this confirmation inside our state. So for that, I have already created a state set confirm. So I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to pass this confirmation here. Now we will verify our OTP uh, using Firebase. So let's see how we can now verify our code here. Whatever code we will enter, so we will get that code here. So now we will verify this code uh, using Firebase. So let's see how we can do that. Mm, first of all, we need to write a bit and then uh, confirm dot confirm code here yeah. and so whatever uh, Confirmation uh, we have saved in state. So we are fetching that confirm from uh, state and we are uh, checking our code. Is it same as that we have sent or not? So let's run in simulator now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, uh, we have received this. Uh, uh, so now we'll check if response is true. then we will redirect user to the access screen. Let's uh, try it, enter number and OTP. enter OTP that we have added a test OTP. So we are going to use that. And uh, okay, so we are registered in our app. So this was all about the phone authentication using Firebase in React Native. And uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button now.